Hooray! At last, a BMW bike. Mind you, it'll still set you back 2,100 quid. Ah, now, let me just press this button here. Hmm. Now, if you reckon that BMW is a little underpowered, driven as it is by these two knotted pieces of string I call legs, then this BMW certainly isn't, because it's powered by a new 3-litre engine available throughout their range, but we've decided to test it in this 3-series cabriolet. For the simple reason, you can still experience the same wind in your hair as on the bike, if not wind on your knees. The new engine is a straight six, hardly a surprise. BMW have been making them for 85 years and they do give excellent smoothness. It started life this unit as a 2.5, then it grew to a 2.8 litre and now it's a 3 litre. Power is up from 193 brake horsepower to 231, which is quite a high gasly, as is torque up. And the important thing is 90% of the torque is available from 1500 RPM. In English, that means loads of mid-range power, which makes it very easy to drive pretty quickly. Whilst there's no doubt this is certainly no M3, and on paper the M3 would have it beaten, in day-to-day -day life, from one point to another on country roads, I reckon my money would be on this. It would certainly be the easier drive to get anywhere in a hurry. One characteristic you'd expect to find in nearly all of the bigger four-seater convertibles is scuttle shake. No, it's not a 70s disco dart, it's actually to do with the rigidity of the car. Think about it, you chop the roof off, that's a big old lump of tin that used to be there to brace it. And as a result, without it, the whole thing can twist and shake, which makes it very difficult for the suspension to cope. Well, in this, they've actually improved it by 20% over the previous convertible, which is already pretty good. So it's not at all bad. That said, there's no way is it ever going to be as good as the tin top, coupe or saloon. you bang on about their cars being driver's car and rear-wheel drive being the best thing for real drivers. But the other important point is sitting in the cabin, everything's aimed at me, literally. Everything's pointing at me, 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 the driver. I'm the important one. Down on the fascia in the centre console, everything's aimed at me. Even the steering wheel is specially for me. I've got special controls for everything and it looks and feels great. I feel important. And here's something really clever. In any soft top, you're going to lose a bit of boot space because when the top itself is down, it's got to go somewhere and usually they cut into your boot space area, so we lose a bit here. And that's the case with the BMW. But, and this is where it's clever, if you're going to leave your top up and you're going away, you want to put a few suitcases in it, lift this lever, push it here, compress that space, and voila, we have more boot space. Clever. In fact, this could be said to be one of your few chances to please everybody in life. For the show-off in you, well, it's a convertible, isn't it? Drop top. For the family man or woman, it's a four-seater. Very practical. For the accountant, BMW convertibles hold their value very well. For the driver, well, it's rear-wheel drive with that fantastic new three-litre engine, a real peach. For the snob, well, it's a BMW badge, isn't it? That said, it's not perfect, because it can't be said to be class-leading in every one of those fields, but it is quite probably the best compromise. And life is, after all, about compromise. Otherwise, Einstein would have been born looking like Marilyn Monroe.